Avoiding the crypto crash. Bitcoin prices up this morning. You can take a look at how Bitcoin is trading. Uh, up $833. <laughs> this comes as a new report from Goldman Sachs warns investors most cryptocurrencies could soon lose all their value. Joining us is RJO Futures senior market strategist Philip Striebel. Is the end for <laughs> in near for cryptocurrencies, you think? Well, I think for Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin prices are going to continue to travel lower. Um, this is a really something that people are missing here. Bitcoin is a product that's created. It's, it's, it's solving complex algorithms, balancing a ledger, and you are benefited a Bitcoin or a partial Bitcoin. Those Bitcoins, it takes one computer an entire year to about create one. They cost about two to three thousand dollars to run that computer there. This is a similar product that's like corn or soybean, something that's planted, takes a year, and it grows, and it matures into a product here. So if you look at you know, Bitcoin, if it takes two to three thousand dollars to produce one, there's no reason why it should be trading at eight, ten, twenty thousand dollars. You're going to have people that are going to hedge their forward production. They're going to sell those futures contracts and it's going to drive the price down. You shouldn't trade at a multiple of ten like it shouldn't be. Well, you know, it costs two thousand dollars to make it and it, the product is trading at twenty thousand dollars. Corn is at three dollars and fifty cents. It doesn't trade at thirty five dollars. Farmers hedge that, they sell the product, and that's what compresses the prices together. Uh, but corn, the competitor to corn, Robert, is corn. The competitor to soybeans is soybeans. There are all these other competitors to Bitcoin. And listen, I've watched the trading of cryptocurrencies by bartenders and average folks uh, around the globe and have people trying to tell me they have some sort of trading strategy for this. I think that this is evidence of a mania, of a bubble, and I think it's finally showing up in the stock market. But you're a believer in the underlying technology here. Yeah, so I, I'm a big believer in the blockchain technology. I'm also a believer that crypto is an asset class. Whether Bitcoin is the end all is to be determined, but I think things like Ripple and Ethereum, those that have an underlying platform, I've invested in two um, that are in the pre-ICO stage, but they're legal services and commerce. It's to me, if you have the underlying blockchain and underlying technological platforms, these are real asset classes. I actually think Bitcoin's going to, you know, have its volatility, but it will be the one that people are using to buy those assets. But people yes. have been it's using, well known. but the people have been using it like they're betting on coin tosses. Yeah, that's but there's wrong. somebody on the other side of that trade that they don't even know who they're betting against. Because they're not thinking like Robert. They should be <laughs> analyzing it like it's a true asset. That's class. why it went from nineteen thousand to seven thousand. It's like catching knives. If you don't know what you're investing hey. in, it's just going down, right. down, down, down. Phil, real quick, you got right. ten seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Here, you know, something interesting is that your State Farm insurance policy will state now that Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies are not covered on your homeowner's insurance if your house burns down or Thank your computer's stolen. Thank you so much, stolen. Phil. Phil Strebel.